Today's video is sponsored by Adobe. I have this clip, which was shot with 100 frames, right click to the clip, select to change clip speed, make sure the ripple timeline is selected, and the stretch to fit. Set the speed to 25% and hit the change button. In this case, will work smoothly because it was shot in 100 frames. But what if you want to do a fake super slow motion out of this? Open the speed change menu again, and this time, let's do 10%. The playback looks ugly and choppy, as expected. Go to the Inspector tab. Under the Retime and Scaling, change the Retime process to Optical Flow, and set the motion estimation to AI Speed Warp better. If you try to play back the clip, your computer will explode. Right click and select to render cache color output. Wait for this orange line to turn into blue, and then you can finally watch the clip in real time. Instead of waiting half an hour for the render, making some lame cringe jokes just to make the video longer, I will use my incredible editing skills and jump cut to Premiere Pro. Let's ignore the ugly interface from the 90s. Right click to the clip, select the speed duration, set the speed to 10% again, and change the time interpolation to optical flow. It's very clear that they didn't got this idea, from Da Vinci, of course. Again, we need to render the clip to be able to watch it. I tried this render and replace option, and didn't work because everything in Premiere is a puzzle. After some digging, I found out that you need to go to Sequence, and Render Selection. In After Effects, you need to right-click to the clip, Go to time, time stretch, and here comes the stupid part. Instead of changing the time to 10%, like in every software, in After Effect, they want to pretend they are different, so actually if you want to slow down the clip, you need to set it to 1000. Not done yet, right click to the clip, go to the frame blending, and select the pixel motion. At least here they used a different naming to pretend that they are not copying Da Vinci. Now it's time to compare the results. I will use my unimaginable talent to create a cinematic masterpiece, a slow burn mystery and then the unexpected plot twist. Let's see which one actually works. We start with Premiere. Look at the warping happening in the hand of this loser in black and around the legs of the player in red. Premiere might be usable in some cases, I guess. After Effects looks like it's doing a better job than Premiere. But here's what you didn't expect. The optical flow in DaVinci looks way better than Adobe's super expensive fake Pro tools. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, keep paying for your overpriced lame software.